just got back we went to this bagel place for breakfast and then we went to the grocery store and I'm gonna show you a grocery store haul we are trying to eat healthier during the week so we're we just got a few things to help keep us on track and make those like healthy decisions for dinner and stuff so I'll show you what we got I got some ground turkey breast this is for my lunches some tomatoes for salads we got quinoa, we got some couscous, bananas, cucumber to snack on. I like snacking on cucumber and carrots with this hummus. It's really good hummus. We got some brown sugar glazed salmon. This is really good. We got some lemons, some Brussels sprouts, some clementines. These are our favorite chips. They're um, the Siete chips in the nacho flavor. They taste really good. I got this um, kale salad kit. I really like this salad kit. It's actually one of my favorites. Some carrots for the hummus. We figured that this would be good to try, marinating in chicken. It's lemon and garlic. So we're gonna marinate chicken with that. Some green beans and arugula. I also just got this um, cold press detox shot. I think it's, yeah, it's wheatgrass. Thought it'd be good to just take. And here is a healthy grocery haul. Okay, so a few weekends ago I bought some edamame from the grocery store and I wanted to make spicy garlic edamame. Me and Christian go to this um, sushi restaurant, restaurant and they have really good spicy garlic edamame. So I'm thinking that maybe the recipe that I found that I'll also link below is kind of similar to spicy garlic edamame that we get at that restaurant. So all you need is edamame, sesame oil, which we had. This is something that I just bought, which is chili paste. Garlic, um, sesame, wait, what's the word? Soy sauce, but we use liquid aminos and then mayo. So what you do is you just steam this in the bag. How do you know how many watts a microwave is? It might even be 1,200. I'm gonna put it into the super liquidy. I think I just ruined it. Okay. Let's try this again. Wait, right, you want to try it? Come here. They're not bad, but I expected them to taste more like the restaurant. Oh, I like them. You do? The edamame would be warmer if I didn't have to remake them. Hello, it is five o'clock. I am heading to, my hair looks crazy. Um, it's like really grown out, but I'm trying to push my hair to 10 weeks instead of, because it's only been six weeks since I've gotten it done. My hair grows so fast because of my collagen. I haven't talked about my collagen in a little while on my YouTube channel because I was like talking about it just constantly for a little bit but I'll show you which collagen I use because I feel like I have a lot of new people 
that are finding my channel so um, I definitely want to share it with you I've been using it for months I've gotten my sister on it she had a lot of um, hair loss on Accutane we both did Accutane and I lost a lot of hair like down here and it started to like break off and like this is like growing finally as you could like see this all broke off from Accutane um, and it was really really short like it was all the way up to here and like this is all my hair growth but that's insane so yeah um but I'm going to my dad's house I'm picking up a bunch of chicken breasts I got chicken breasts we found chicken breasts from this random guy I don't even need to tell this story but we got a bunch of chicken breasts from this random guy he was selling he gets them like out in the woods um he's like lives out in the woods and he gets um chicken like 50 pounds of chicken breasts and sells them for a dollar a pound so 50 pounds yeah and sells them for a dollar a pound so um my dad picked me up five pounds of chicken breasts so I'm going to get that because me and Christian are really trying to um stick to like a just a little bit healthier of like eating habits during the week because we tend to just like go with something easy and just eat pizza and like a bunch of pasta we're just trying to get like more chicken um fish some like red meat and um like obviously really high fiber vegetables and some um complex carbs during the week and um on the weekends it doesn't matter but because i feel like balance is so important but um we're just wanting to kind of like eat just a little bit healthier and keep up that during the week um and we tend to get a little bit lazy during the week because obviously we're just like tired from working all day and we go and like work out after work we want something easy we don't eat until like 7 30 8 o'clock at night and then we have to wake up and do it all over again the next day so we want sometimes we want just easy foods but um sometimes easy isn't always the healthiest so i just came to my dad's house to feed my cats and it's honestly always so hard coming here because one of my cats has cancer in his jaw we've had him for I think 11 years and it's just like so hard seeing him like that his like whole side of his face is like swollen that crinkling is annoying me um we just like death is so hard he doesn't deserve to go so soon like he could have 10 more years I'm so sorry he, it just like hits me there's nothing that we can do to get rid of it and I don't know how much longer he has here and uh, I'm so sorry this is like I don't really cry on my channel you can like see it to like you can it's like just swollen it's taken over his whole entire jaw and um it's just like eventually he'll stop eating we're trying to like keep him inside so that way he doesn't go away to pass on i'm so sorry this is a lot um i would just break my heart having him be alone i'm so young like he was around almost half of my life and he's just like the most kind and patient cat and like isn't loud very gentle it's just hard seeing him like this and knowing that there's like nothing that you can do so I'm very happy that he's like made it past Christmas like made it past the new year and um maybe he'll keep going but there's no like real say in how long it takes and it's like an aggressive cancer like it can move quickly and it's like in his jaw so I mean it's not like we can remove his jaw you know like how would he eat it's just like better to just accept like what's happening and realize that you can't change it as much as you like want to and you just don't want them to be in pain I don't know but anyways it's just like 
sometimes really hard to um, see him like that. So we're trying to keep him inside and like if he's outside we watch him or he's like not we don't let him outside overnight anymore. And he like loves the outdoors because we're just like scared that one day he like won't come back. And like one of our cats actually um, a few years ago uh, we let him out and he never came back so we were thinking that he probably like went away to pass and like animals just have an instinct like they know like when it's their time and um i just don't know how much time we have left until he like stops eating and um knows it's time it's gonna be absolutely heartbreaking but we have two other cats <laughs> we had a total of four this is so nuts to say because people are gonna be like oh my god you're nuts we had a total of four one um we don't have anymore we haven't had that one for a while and then we have one that's named Cinnamon. He's really old. He, I think he's like 16. He's older. And then we have Oliver, who's the youngest one, the most annoying little one. It's my sister's cat, mainly. And then we have Sebastian, which is like mainly mine. And he's like just so calm, quiet, doesn't meow. It's like basically a brick. He's like so not anymore, but he was so chunky. And this cancer has just taken over, but it's really sad um it's really sad how we like only get one life and uh, I don't know it almost makes such like a huge impact on your life like it's like losing someone else and like death is so hard and like death in all forms is really hard but I think I fear losing people more after losing someone like my mom I'm not gonna make this some like whole sap story but like I think I fear like loss and death more because I've lost someone so like significant in my life and like I'm fearful for everything around me to like lose things and that's no way to live life it is not a way to live um I'm, I'm trying to just like live more in the moment appreciate the moments that you have with the people around you and um realize that nothing is certain nothing is definite and everything could change in like the blink of an eye and um yeah don't take life for granted don't take people for granted don't think that things are forever or things are just always going to be there because it's not like that's not how life works and um things could always change but yeah so i just came to my dad's house fed the cats because my sister's working and my dad's with um his girlfriend um eating like an early dinner so i was like i have to pick up my chicken anyway like i can just come feed them like it's not a big deal what is this um so, I came and picked up my chicken, fed them, cried. Just listening to the new Morgan Whalen album, and it's really good. So, anyways, I hope, just love the people that you have in your life now. Don't take anything for granted. Things could change in like a second. And you could lose someone close to you, something close to you. Everything could change. Literally, just live in the moment because nothing is certain. And planning the future and planning for things to go a certain way is pointless because things change every single day. And we are not in control of how life goes, but we are in control of how we emotionally handle it and physically handle it. We are in control of how we live each day view each day and our emotions and everything we are in control of that that's the one thing that we're in control of is how we handle life situations everything but we're not in control of what goes on around us so i'm gonna drive home i'm gonna calm down <laughs> we're gonna cook some steaks for dinner my dad gave me steaks for christmas just such a funny gift but adult gifts for christmas right am i right um but he gets like a huge 
like tenderloin from Costco and he like cuts it up and he gave me some of them for Christmas. So Christian and I are gonna be having that for dinner. And um, yeah. Anyways, thank you for listening to me. So I got this off of Amazon. Actually, a bunch of estheticians commented on it or else I wouldn't have gotten it because it's um, a high frequency device. When I used to get facials a lot when I had really bad acne in high school and the beginning of college, I used to get facials probably almost every single month and they used to use a high frequency device on them. But it also helps with like anti-aging and obviously blood circulation. There is acne benefits to it as well. But I got this from Amazon. It wasn't that expensive. I think I got it for $50, $40 or $50. And for this device, people were going crazy over it. There's tons of amazing reviews and I've been watching a YouTube video on it on how to use it because I obviously want to use it correctly. So I'm going to try it, see if it does anything. Um, it says that it can help with dark circles and um, just aging around the eyes too. And that's part of the reason why I got it too and I want to use it for aging on my forehead and just in other areas of my face so if I can prevent or help in any way I'm all for it so figured it'd be fun to try it as well and if it works that's amazing so we'll try it together but um, I'll link it down below if you want to check it out also I'll link this video down below so if you want if you end up purchasing this and you want to reference my video for this video and she explains how to use it, what serums to use it with, what not to use it with. And she just goes through it all and she goes through each individual, I guess, attachment. Because it comes with like a brush. So that way you can brush it through your hair because it helps with hair growth. This one, this one, whoops. And um, just other attachment sizes. So we're going to try it out, see how it works. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna put on hyaluronic acid and like a splash of vitamin E oil. My skin. This is one of the serums that the woman that's doing this video recommended. And I'm just gonna add like a little bit of more oil. I'm kind of scared. I'm scared. You can like see it. Maybe I'll bump it up to two. I'm scared. This is strong! <laughs> so I did my face. You're only supposed to do it for five minutes. No more. And now I'm gonna do my eye area. You obviously don't do it on your eyelids. I'm using the eye attachment. I don't really understand how this one's working because I don't see it. Okay, so I just finished using the device and you work up certain frequencies. So there's six of them and you work your way up slowly to until you don't feel anything. I was on one kind of, I was on two, three I could feel and it like snapped. Almost felt like a rubber band snapping my skin. The best I could describe it. You guys don't know and you've never gotten a facial where they use a high frequency device. 
Basically what it helps with is it can help with acne. So there's a spot treatment one that you hold over your acne. It also helps with acne scars. The high frequency treatments naturally fighting acne cause causing inflammation under the skin and it smooths out your complexion. So it has an improved skin profile. Our system specializes in different areas of skin therapy like acne treatment and wrinkle reduction. Overall use provides a drastic overall improvement in skin profile. It reduces fine lines and wrinkles by boosting circulation and collagen products which helps plump skin cells to fill in voids which are the underlying cause of wrinkles and fine lines. So I don't know how well it works but it says to use it every few days so you're supposed to use it five minutes every other day do not exceed five minutes in any single session to pre preserve the integrity of the neon and argon gas inside the glass applicators you can use it every other day for five minutes in the beginning they say use like every four to five days so i don't know how well it works figured why not give it a shot see if it does anything but I'm excited to continue using it, especially for under the eyes, if it helps with dark circles. I think I have hereditary dark circles or there's tons of lack of circulation. So I would definitely like to improve that and just help with overall um, how my skin looks. There's not, I don't really have many imperfections. I do have that to be grateful for and I feel like my complexion isn't terrible. But um, if I can prevent and reduce any damage that I have done or any wrinkles that I do have I'm for it so I'm excited I'll link it down below obviously do your research please before you um, try this and watch this video she's really knowledgeable she actually just posted this video two days ago I think she tries a bunch of beauty products at home so I just stumbled across the video because I wanted to figure out how to use this before I just popped it out of the box but um, do your research there's some um, she does say if you have like certain underlying health conditions, definitely consult a doctor. If you're pregnant, you can't use it. Just watch this video. She's knowledgeable about it and um, has definitely done her research so that way she can better inform us. So check out this video. I'll link this down below. And um, now I'm going to go shower and wash my body and then add more skincare. take this I do not look my best I'm gonna take this detox wheatgrass juice shot and when me and my sister took wheatgrass shots before they weren't like the best this is the grossest thing I've ever taken honestly I, I don't think I've ever taken anything more disgusting Okay, I'm just gonna end off this vlog here. We're gonna finish the night by watching an episode of The Mandalorian. We're on, I think, episode five? Yeah. We're on episode five of season two, so we're very close to finishing it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.